So in and out of Colombo's new out-of-town parliament building, what did Tamil politicians make of the most concerted anti-Tiger assault in 12 years of war? Moderate Tamil MPs say the Tigers should talk now about the government's proposals for devolution. They represent the, the most uh, positive, most far-reaching ideas with regard to the sharing of political power between the centres and the regions. They envisage exclusive legislative and executive competence being devolved on the regions in, uh, in a number of very important areas. And that's new. Uh, this is, this is a, 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 certainly a, a significant step forward. For other parties, the plans are just personal whims of the president, not discussed by cabinet or by parliament. It is what the government is prepared to put before the parliamentary select committee, which you would consider as the government proposals. These are just somebody's proposals are, and as far as we are concerned, non s the national monument to Sri Lanka's independence, a treasured symbol of the whole country, the unity of which is not negotiable. The present government has gone further than most to meet demands for Tamil's autonomy, but cannot, will not, go beyond. Independence for the Tamils in the north and east of this island is not on the agenda, never has been, according to the present government. The devolution package remains, though, on the table, but after the events of recent weeks, the violence, the mass exodus of refugees, Nobody is setting a timetable for talks on that to start. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Colombo.